CGR guys, my name is Jean Noir and welcome to this behind the scenes where I will show you how I approach projects. Uh, I think it's very valuable as a filmmaker, so um, let's roll that clip. So the first tip I want to give you is uh, think about the project and give criticism because uh, you know what kind of techniques you're going to use and what's going to look good, uh, which means uh, don't be afraid to uh, give advice about what you're going to create. Not only will uh, the result be better, but the second thing is um, you show that you're dedicated, you show that you're not a blind sheep and you show you know about um, making, uh, making film and making uh, like animations or stuff or 3D. Um, and that's very good because he may come back. Uh, and the second tip is uh, um, when you start make sure you have enough reference and uh, uh, resources to um, create the project. For example, um, I need to create uh, something with a, a type machine, a typewriter, and uh, so I ask on Facebook um, is there someone with a typewriter so I can uh, try it out and see how it works and what kind of sound does it make and how does it move and that kind of stuff and um, so you have enough reference to animate and create the, the typewriter. So the next tip I actually learned from the project where I'm working on right now and it's about money. When we think about money it's always a little bit shameful but um, don't be afraid and just be honest. Don't say I need 50, 100 bucks or something for a video, just be honest and say something like, I need 50 bucks for um, uh, for uh, the time I'm gonna spend on it, and I need 50 bucks for resources like gear, um, programs, uh, something like um, stock footage, that kind of stuff. So the last tip I wanna give you is when you're able to, try to make some behind the scenes videos. Um, those videos you can send to him, and that's how you can keep him up to date. And once again, it shows that you're dedicated, which is so helpful uh, because he may come back, which is obviously very awesome if he comes back. So uh, those were the tips I want to give you as a filmmaker. I hope you find them useful. Um, let's go into the behind the scenes of my project um, so we can learn from my mistakes. Um, right now I'm in a studio and the sound here is very flat. There's no reverb or something, which is very good to uh, record uh, sound effects. And that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I have a typewriter right there and I'm gonna uh, record the sound effects of that typewriter so I can use them. And obviously I'm gonna shoot some reference material for animating. While I'm animating I can like match the frames so uh, the, no, nothing is going way too fast or way too slow in my animation. Okay, um, I'm talking too much. Anyways, let's roll the clip. So I just finished recording my reference material. This was my behind the scenes first behind the scenes video and I hope to see you in a next video. Bye!